Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the rumpled one. It is Wednesday, May the 8th, the year 2018. Let's talk trading distractions. When you hear and read about trading, you, they talk about focus a lot and not being distracted. Well, when you're trading, you're sitting there, you're looking at the screen. There's so many things that can distract you. Take your, your eyes off the screen. Take your mind off the trade. Anything from phones, knocks on the door, something outside the window, if you have a window in your trading room, the radio, the TV. You have to eliminate those distractions. And not just that, even distractions on your computer. How many windows do you have open? Are you getting, you know, dings and bings and bongs and all that kind of stuff? I mean, are you eating? Are you drinking while you're trading? Smoking? There's just so many things that can take you, take your mind off the trade and the next thing you know, you miss an entry or you miss an exit. It might impact your decision making, the speed of your decision, the accuracy. So really need to cut down on distractions because the distractions might take you away from your money and risk management too, or you might get caught up in something and you forget. Maybe you added to your position size and then on your next trade, you forgot to reduce it. You hit enter and, and there you are. Your, your position size is too big. So many things can distract you. Okay, let's move on. If you weren't here yesterday, we have filled all the gaps for the week. Once again, easy, simple trading there. And we can see that the uh, right here we've got the dollar yen. It's in the wick zone of the previous week right there it crossed above the middle 109.33 up 42 pips you can see here we had an inside bar nine bars ago where was that one i believe it was right here Let's see zero one two three four five six seven eight nine inside bar breakout you can see here if you put that level all the way across i'm just bringing that up just to show you there's so many ways you can trade so many things you can do but you can see that level when it finally broke out, it broke out big. And we can also, we can look at a daily. Here we have an inside bar, which was yesterday, and look what happened. So that's just something else to keep in mind. Oh, we got the Euro CAD right there at 15301. So we had a nice little psychological trade happening let's see it might continue down we're uh red on the week red on the month red on the day pointing down and let's see we've got the new zealand cat at the double o right now it's in the lower wick zone of the week Now let's see, do we have any other nice psychological trades? Uh, EuroCAD, there we go, right there. Put things back to the yen. Daily, there's yesterday's high. 40 pips above it, such a simple trade. That wick zone breakout right there. 
inside bar break too. And looking at the buy zone right here, shorts, either pretty much that was a scratch trade, but it paid off big time. And you can see here, it's going over the, went over the 109.75 psychological, three pips off the daily high. Rat traders, red rats, get ready. And let's put this back to H4 the way I like to see it normally. And you can see here, it definitely uh, took out the pivot, which wasn't too far off the open. And then it launched up looking for, looks like it wants to either hit weekly R1, daily R3, right there. Future pivot point, that's for tomorrow's trade. Price action. Red at the line, green at the line. Now, one thing to note, you can see here, there really wasn't much of a pullback. There's something you should really be aware of when you're trading. Let's see, where's a good screen for it? Um, when price breaks out of the high like this, and then you want to go counter the uh, direction of the daily, just look to take three to five pips on those reversals. You know, sooner or later, you're, you're going to get the big drop. But if price is moving slow, just take your pips off the table. Otherwise, you can get your face ripped off. So see here, you had what? Uh, we had a low, a 61. So maybe if you just grabbed your five, six, seven, eight pips, like you can see here, we made a new high. Three ball moved over. So... The, um, my modification is saying look to short the next bar, but just like right here, don't be greedy. Don't try to hit the home run. Go for the singles and the doubles. Take what's easy. Now, if it's moving fast, by all means, but if you've got the um, spread dots indicator with the training wheels, it's telling you what's going on. And what I do is after I enter, if it goes in the wait mode, as soon, if, if I'm buying, so if I was buying, as soon as I see a sell, I'm out of the trade. Now it can continue, yes, but you might as well take the profit. There's going to be another trade. There will be another trade. As you can see here, um, red at the line, green at the line from yesterday's lines. And there you have it right there. 47, 48 pips. It's still going. What's it trying to hit? Wick zone. Not much of a wick zone, but price doesn't like staying in it. And highest open, we're going to get a holo trade coming up here in about 10 minutes. And so you might want to look for a reversal, but once again, don't be greedy. And there's the previous mid. You don't want to be greedy. Because see, another distraction would be you're wanting to hit that big, take that big bite out of price. But if you're thinking about the future, you're not in the present. And that can hurt you. You don't want that. Stay focused. So you can see right here, we just had a sell trigger live. And so we can see what happens with price. So right there, you've probably covered your spread.
price is still above the midpoint here of this between the since I've turned it on this is all dynamic all in the moment so you can see price is still dropping now it's coming back the other way and it's those first two pips that are the hard ones <laughs> Okay, now we're pulling down, so you should be up at least a pip or two. So if you want it, when you're trading this close breakout, you could be moving your, uh, see if you triggered in here, so you were probably in at 81. So you'd be looking to stop out at 80, because since this is a breakout mode to the upside on the daily, you don't want to get caught with price moving against you. And there we go down. So basically the way these uh, trading off the tick chart or trading with this indicator what it's doing is it's going to get you within two two times the spread of the high so you'll probably be since right now the spreads about one pip you only when you entered you, you were about two pips off the high and then when you come back out you're only going to give back a spread so you can take the biggest bite out of that run that's possible to take so you see here it's still coming down so if we triggered it in 81 we could sell here there's a five pipper right there five pip trade no Harry hindsight right there live you saw it happen So now the indicator is telling you it's below the midpoint, giving you that warning. And as you can see, bam, you'd be out of the trade because you just it triggered a buy signal. Where? Oh no, maybe it didn't trigger. A, yeah, it did trigger a buy. So you'd be out of the trade with five pips. So that's how that works. So those of you who are interested in scalping and you picked up the uh, 2018 spread dots, that's how it works. Or if you like looking at the tick chart, that is the 2018 tick chart. Now, once again, you don't have to donate. You can use this tick chart. And right there, you can see that little but you can see how it's kind of hard to see it. But right there, you just got a sell trigger when price dropped below. So that's how that works. And once again, if you like seeing these lines, just to get an idea where the peak and valley is, looking at um, previous closes here, that's a line chart. You see we got selling back happening again. And you can see right here on the IRB lines where there was money to be made. So there you have it, fellow traders. Don't be distracted. It's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. It's time to go drain the banks.